Have you ever noticed that the bottoms of large ships are almost always painted red? It's not just for style, it's a tradition born from centuries of necessity. Hundreds of years ago, wooden ships had a serious problem. The part of the hull that sat underwater was a perfect home for barnacles, worms, and algae. These tiny hitchhikers didn't just make the ships look bad, they slowed them down, made them burn more fuel, and even damaged the wood. Sailors discovered a solution, coating the underwater part of the hull with copper. Copper's natural properties killed marine organisms and stopped them from attaching. But there was a side effect when copper sat in seawater. It oxidized, turning a reddish color. Soon, the sight of a red hull became a familiar one in ports around the world. Today's ships aren't made of wood, and we no longer use sheets of copper. Instead, they're coated with special anti-fouling paints that do the same, job-preventing marine growth and improving speed and fuel efficiency. And even though modern paints can be made in almost any color, tradition holds strong. The red hull is still a signal that this ship is seaworthy, fast, and ready for long voyages. So next time you see a massive cargo ship or cruise liner, look just below the waterline. That red paint isn't just decoration, it's a centuries-old trick that still keeps the seas a little cleaner and the ships a lot faster. Ingenious, right?